you could glean from the title, I am going to try the Dickey method for six days or we can say like one and a half weeks, two weeks. I watched a few Dickey videos to remind myself of his method. So I'll link the videos I watched below. But basically, he advocates for washing and restyling your hair in a wash and go specifically every one to two days depending on your texture and kind of the longevity of the style so since i'm testing out gels for the wash and go series i've decided that this was a good time to do that but for this wash and go i did use the do one love co-wash to clean my hair and then i followed it up with suave tropical coconut conditioner and i detangled with this before applying a leave-in and gel and that is kind of how dicky says start with this and then co-wash moving forward until the week is over and then cleanse again and this is my completely dry result i use my hooded dryer because there's no way i would do this without it <laughs> like, it takes two and a half days for my hair to dry normally so hooded dryer a bus now to finish the wash and go, I haven't done that yet. Um, Dicky says to stretch it with heat and apply a moisturizer. And I don't want to stretch it because there's no need. I, I don't really need more length. And if I'm going to redo my hair that many times, I mean, for what? And then I'm going to take a little bit and just do what he says, which is like just kind of scrunch it in. And what this will do, I just know from experience, is this will break the cast. So this hair will get bigger and um, have more volume than it normally would because normally I wouldn't break the cast. I would just ride the style out for days. But we're trying to do it like Dickie. So this is the first of my six wash and goes. I think it looks pretty good. This was an interesting first trial of this gel. It's not my favorite look, but it definitely has potential i gotta use it a different way um because i think it'll come out even better by the way i'm doing these wash and goes at night so that i can wear them for two full days and on that second day i wash again anyways i talked long enough i'm gonna take you through my days here All right, so this is the second wash and go. Definitely has some crunch to it. Um, I would say the definition is on point with this one. Not any frizz or anything. Um, black shirt is to see if there's snow. And I would say that there's a bit of snow with this one. But that could just be how much product I apply. So, you know. This is, this is why I don't review things after one use. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this moisturizer. This will get rid of the cast, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> this experiment is interesting. I will say it didn't take any less time. It took this exact same amount of time for me to, to tangle and style my hair. I don't, I don't know yet what the benefits of doing this so frequently are. But I'm going to have a conclusion by the end of this video. <laughs> went shorter because I did a better job following Dickie's wash and go. Um, I have been like following his process right of just cleansing conditioner conditioner wash and go for the first one. Second one conditioner wash and go. This one conditioner then the wash and go but I wasn't he applies the product in like large sections and so I did that this time. And so my wash and go took 
so from start to finish it was 25 minutes as opposed to 39 minutes which just has been the last two days and I'd say the wash and go still looks just as defined so that is amazing it's a great great thing I can spend less time like if I could spend like I don't know 15 20 minutes from start to finish that would be a game changer that's for sure anyways I've done a lot of moving but like I said these wash and goes I am not stretching so you can see what it looks like I did sit under my hooded dryer I have sat under my hooded dryer for every one of these and I will continue to do so <laughs> so I'll see you in the next wash and go For this wash and go it took the same amount of time as the last one about 25 minutes I haven't stretched the moisturizer into my hair yet I'm really out of this I'm just playing myself <laughs> but that's enough to do the job this one just doesn't seem to have as much of a cast but we'll kind of you know you'll see in the review I also am not applying these gels the way I normally would and this is a result, it's really, really cute. Like I like how like fluffy it is. You know, that's the thing about this style, this way of doing my wash and goes. I do want it to take a short amount of time because I'm doing this every other day. And I want the styles to be bigger first because I'm not wearing it many days. I wanna wait for the cast to go and it to get bigger. So adding a moisturizer is actually quite clutch here i get it i get it because it breaks the custom uh but yeah this is just the the fourth day i don't feel like my hair is any more moisturized it was hella quick to detangle uh because it wasn't really tangled at all i had just washed it and detangled it uh but that's pretty much it but um i'm definitely gonna run through a bottle of conditioner though so that's pretty great but we'll see how i feel for the next one promising there's so much definition so much oh my goodness and it doesn't have a lot of frizz I'm here for it um, but what it does have is some buildup this is a gel with a learning curve that's for sure and I'm shiny as all get out I just don't care so my detangling I think was faster but putting on this product wasn't faster because it's a harder to use gel. Well, it's not hard to use. It just out in the review that that'll come. You'll see. But this wasn't any faster. It was still like 25 minutes, 26 minutes to do this wash and go. Um, my hair isn't, I don't think, more defined because of the frequency. If anything, I'm getting build up. Like I can tell that my hair needs to be stripped. So I got one more gel to go, one more day to go, and I am stripping the life out of my hair um, because I don't like the feeling of my hair with buildup. <laughs> because I know it's necessary when doing protein treatment and everything. But I'm gonna be back for this last wash and go, and we'll talk about whether this was even worth my time. last one and I don't think this one is gonna do much but we shall see well this is interesting right <laughs> so uh, for this last wash and go it really didn't give me much anything so we'll see 
about this particular gel in the wash and go series. So for the final wash day, it was time for me to cleanse again. So I went ahead and used the Dew One Love Co-Wash and I followed that up with the VO5 Strawberries and Cream Moisturizing Conditioner. One good thing that came from this, I just about completely used this up. It's like just a little sliver left. Two, this reaffirmed for me that I probably can't get my wash days any faster. Um, I mean, really it depends on how I do my wash and go. So, did washing more frequently affect my wash and go? I mean, I don't think it did because I already washed my hair twice a week. I think if I were to move forward with this method, I would definitely have to choose different products. Like, I could not use any of the gels that had silicones in them because when I did, there was a level of buildup for the next wash and go, right? Like I really needed to clean my hair for this wash and go. I felt it, I could see it, so that's what I did. Um, and I wouldn't use this either because this has dimethicone in it. So with this method, I do think it's really important to not use products that have silicones because you're not cleansing with every wash. Also, Detangling did not get any easier for me. One caution here is I think you should stay away from the frequency of washing in this method until you get to the point where detangling is shorter. So if your detangling takes an hour, I don't think frequently washing your hair is going to be good for you because you're probably one going to get sick of it and two, you're going to start breaking your hair in frustration. That's my hypothesis. I do think this method is great if you're trying to get the wash and go style. It takes a lot of practice to figure out how to do a wash and go that's optimal for your hair. And so the more you do it, the better. So if you do have, you know, shorter detangling sessions down and you wanna just practice the wash and go, I think this is a good method to do it because it gets your hair to the point where it's very, very moisturized all the time, right? And so I think with the right products, this would be a good method for someone starting to do the wash and go. So if nothing else, this was an interesting experiment. In the comments below, let me know if you observed anything in particular from this experiment. I'd really like to know. I mean, down the road, I may come up with more things as I think more. But for now, it was just an interesting experiment. And you guys got to see a first look at every gel from the wash and go series. Don't take it as a law though, because one, I didn't clean my hair as I would for a review. And two, I'm still learning how to use each one of these products. So in the comments below, let me know for sure if you tried the Dickie method and what you learned from it, as well as your thoughts from this video. And until next time, be well, be safe, and find a bit of joy in every day. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's for the bloopers. <laughs> All right, guys, so I didn't like the part, so I had to like redo it. That's why that was standing up. But anyways, so I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm not gonna wear my hair like this. I'm just gonna put it back in a puff because one, that's just what I wanted to do this week anyway. And two, this is giving me nothing. So I'm not even sure whether I'm gonna feature Not Your Mother's anymore. I have to figure it out. This might be a good gel to feature for those who like afros. Um, and I've been asked to talk about those products, so that might happen. But this right now, as it stands, ain't it. <laughs>